In order to work this integral, we're actually going to do a little trick of u substitution so that we can integrate a rational function and then we will resubstitute. So let's let u equal cube root of x. Now what we're going to do is actually solve this for x then. So x would be u cubed and dx would be 3u squared du. So let's do that substitution. dx is 3u squared du and x was u cubed and then minus this was our u. So we now have a function, doesn't have radicals in it, so let's go ahead and we're going to do partial fractions. So if we have 3 u squared over u to the third minus u, actually this fraction is not reduced because there's a u in common everywhere. So let's go ahead and reduce. So this is going to be u squared minus 1. And that will actually factor difference of squares here, so we'll factor that. And our partial fractions then, we're going to need one denominator u plus 1 and one that's u minus 1. And our numerators will be a and b. So as we clear this of fractions, this one will need the u minus 1. And this one will cancel and leave us the u plus 1. So as we write down what we have, we have 3u equal a multiplied by u minus 1 plus b multiplied by u plus 1. So we're going to use the convenient u method here. We're going to let u equal negative 1. That would make us negative 3 equal negative 2a and this one would zero out so a equals three halves. So then we'll conveniently let u equal one so that we can zero out the a and that would leave us three equal two b. So it looks like b is also three halves. So now we are ready to go up here and write this down as our partial fractions. So that's going to be, actually I'm going to put put the uh, partial fractions right here and then we will go ahead and replace. So this is going to be 3 halves u plus 1 plus 3 halves u minus 1. So we're actually going to put this down here. So we're going to have the integral of 3 halves u plus 1 plus 3 halves u minus 1 du. So that's going to be 3 halves natural log of u plus 1 plus 3 halves natural log u minus 1 plus a constant. Last step we'll go ahead and resubstitute and remember our u was the cube root of x. So we have 3 halves natural log absolute value of cube root of x plus 1 plus 3 halves natural log absolute value of cube root of x minus 1 plus a constant. 